I'm Rachel Muth. And I'm Jo Ingleby, and we're from the Vegetarian Cookery School in Bath. And we're going to teach you to make delicious vegetarian food from our cookery school. I'm going to make a filling for a fresh ravioli, and which you can use with your freshly made pasta dough. This filling is lovely and simple. All I've done is taken a butternut squash and chopped it into cubes and roasted it for about 30 to 40 minutes in a hot oven until it's just starting to get soft and just gently caramelised around the edges. Okay. I'm going to add to that some salt and pepper. You could add garlic, you could add chilli, but it is quite nice to keep this simple and you can always add extra flavour into your sauce. I'm going to mash it just gently with a fork until the squash is nice and soft and there aren't too many pointy edges. Um, when you're making your own pasta, anything that breaks through the pasta will cause a problem. So you need to just make sure it's nice and soft. As I'm mashing, I'm going to add two egg yolks and that will help the um, ravioli to set. I'm going to add into that some ricotta cheese and mash that through with some chopped flat leaf parsley. Just bring those together until they're nicely mixed and then give it a little taste and maybe add a little bit more salt and pepper if you need to. I'm going to fill my ravioli now and I've got some fresh pasta which has been rolled out to the finest setting on a pasta machine. You can use shop-bought fresh lasagna to do this. It's not quite as successful because the pasta's thicker. I'm going to chop it in half so that I've got two, a bottom and a top for my ravioli. Okay. And then I'm going to take really small amounts, probably about a teaspoon of the squash and ricotta filling, and just place them onto the pasta. And I'm going to make four at a time here. So I've got my four and I'm going to neaten off that edge there and I'm going to cut another piece of pasta which will fit on top. Okay. Now to glue the two sheets of pasta together we're just going to use water and I'm going to use my fingers just to rub all around where the filling is make sure you go in between your lumps of filling okay. and then really carefully I'm going to lay the top sheet over the bottom sheet and just help it stretch over the filling so that the two sheets of pasta meet up just push down in the middle and push across so you've made like a cross shape in the middle. Just help that stretch there. Okay. And then I'm going to use a really sharp knife just to slice through the middle and make a cross this way. So you end up with four ravioli. Now if you like you can use one of these which is an actual ravioli cutter if you find them. And with these you just stamp over the top like so and push and then pull the edges off and then the edges. The important thing though is to now take the ravioli and just gently squeeze around so you're feeling for air bubbles. Any air bubbles that there are you just need to gently squash them so they come to the edge of the ravioli otherwise they'll burst when you cook them. I've got a little air bubble there I'm just going to give that a squeeze and it comes out at the side. I'm going to cook the ravioli in boiling water that's at a rolling boil and it's got a big pinch of salt. The ravioli will take between three and four minutes to cook and the only way to tell whether it's ready is to take one out and just to cut a tiny piece of pasta off and taste it and see if it's um, just cooked. It should have a tiny bit of bite but not be chewy. Uh, you need to have a slotted spoon ready to scoop out your pasta to test. 
and you need to have some kitchen towel on the side just ready to drain the pasta on so that it's not too wet when you put it on the plate. It's always best though to cook the ravioli and eat it as soon as you can afterwards so it's nice and hot. It goes cold very, very quickly. So the ravioli is nicely cooked now. I'm just going to take it out with a slotted spoon, pop it onto my kitchen towel just to get most of the water off and then it's going to go straight onto a plate and I'm serving this today just with a simple salsa verde which is just green herbs, garlic, olive oil, a little bit of lemon juice and a few capers whizzed up in a food processor. And that's how you make fresh butternut squash ravioli.